This video is about interfacing R307 fingerprint module with Arduino. We'll enroll different person's fingerprints. Later, we'll match the fingerprint and display their name. Fingerprint processing includes two parts, fingerprint enrollment and fingerprint matching. When enrolling, user needs to enter their finger two times. The system will process the two time finger images generate a template of the finger based on processing results and store the template. When matching, user enters the finger through optical sensor and system will generate a template of the finger and compare it with templates of the finger library. Let's see the wiring of fingerprint module. The first wire which is red is VCC and the second wire which is black is ground. The third wire which is yellow is TX and the fourth wire which is green is RX. We will not use blue and white wires. Now let's see the components we need for this project. With this R307 fingerprint module, we need an Arduino Uno. Then we need 16 by 2 LCD. This is I2C attached LCD. Then we need a small breadboard and some jumper wires. Now let's see the hardware connection. We need 5V and ground for both fingerprint module and LCD. So we will take 5V and ground to the breadboard to increase the power source. Now let's connect the fingerprint module with Arduino. VCC will connect with 5V. Ground will connect with ground. TX will connect with digital pin 2 and RX will connect with digital pin 3. Then next connect the LCD with Arduino. Ground will connect with ground and VCC will connect with 5 volt. Data will connect with analog pin 4 and clock will connect with analog pin 5. After completing the hardware connections, let's move to the software part. Download Arduino IDE software. I'll share the link, you can download from the link. After installing, open a new sketch. We have to include fingerprint library. Click on sketch, then include library, then manage library. The library manager tab will appear. Search Adafruit fingerprint and install the library. I have already installed this library, you can see. After including the library, click on the file, then example. We'll get Adafruit fingerprint sensor library here. Select the enroll. Enroll code will be open. Select board and port and upload the code. After done uploading, we'll enroll three fingerprints. Let's say the first fingerprint from Mahdi. Second one from Mr. X and third one from Mr. Y. To enroll these fingerprints, open serial monitor. We'll enroll Mahadi's fingerprint as ID1. We'll enter ID number 1 to the serial monitor. After entering 1, you could see it's asking for the fingerprint. We need to enter fingerprint twice. When it's done, you can see the message ID1 stored. Now for second ID. We'll enter 2 and enroll Mr. X fingerprint by the same way. Then for the third ID, we'll do the same. We'll enter 3 and enroll Mr. Y's fingerprint. Like this way, enroll process will be done. We can enroll up to 100 fingerprints. Now for second part of the coding, we'll open a new sketch. We have to include liquid crystal I2C library. Follow the same process as we did for fingerprint library. We will search by liquid crystal underscore I2C. Then we will install the library by Marco. After including the library, now for fingerprint matching, copy the code from the link I shared and paste it in the sketch. Inside the code, you can change the name of the fingerprint as you want to see on the display. We can edit the matching code according to our project demand. For example, we can control a relay. 
By using relay, we can close or open our door lock. Also, we can take other actions on based of fingerprint matching. Here in this code, I will just show the name on the LCD display. After uploading the code, you could see on the LCD, it's asking for the fingerprint. After printing the finger, system will search the finger library for matching and it will return the matching result, success or failure. Thanks for watching this video. If you face any problem, you can comment below. I will try to answer. You are welcome to my channel to see my next video.